Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread, episode 170. I'm live on Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. Today, I'm talking about no limits, and I ain't talking about Master P, okay? So stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. All right, listen, so in case you've been living under a rock, this is Level Up to Stardom Day 8. So we're leveling up to stardom because I'm teaching in Atlanta, Georgia, August 24th at the Bronze Lens Film Festival. Yes, I'm going to be a broken record. And if you were at my event last year, I'm not teaching the exact same stuff. So yes, you do need to come again. <laughs> so in honor of that, in honor of my book, drop in tomorrow. Um, so the event is the kickoff event for the book. It's so much goodness going on. So all the Actors Daily Breads, I've charged myself to go live every day until Bronze Lens Film Festival. Whew. And so far I've had makeup and hair on every live. I just like to give myself a few points for that. Can't promise what tomorrow will bring. <laughs> but listen, this is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. And I want to welcome you. If it's your first time watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a beautiful community. Guys, my OG members, if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, throw a one in the comments, even if this is you're watching a replay. And to all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. If you're an OG member, put OG in the comments. If you see me more than three times, just put OG in the comments so I know who I'm dealing with. If, I, if I'm dealing with some newbies to me or if I'm dealing with some OG members. <laughs> and if you're new, you'll be OG very, very soon. Um, what's up, Arisha? Hey, TC. Hey. Um, hey, Judy. Hey, William. Hey, Dawn. Wonderful. I got a lot of OGs popping up on Facebook for sure. So listen, you know, in, as we level up to stardom, and I love the name that we chose for the event in Atlanta, I, I've been thinking of things to talk about that really will help you level up. So some of you, like I said, are newer to me. <laughs> yes, OG, 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 OG. I love it. Um, but something has been coming up. Let me take my sneakers off. You know, if my feet are hot, then my whole body's hot. Anybody? We lose a lot of heat through our feet and gain heat through our feet, too. Um, Something has come up with some clients recently, and I, heard, I saw it in my, my Booking Magnet Academy group today, and I hear it often. And so today, that's why I really want to talk about no limits. And here's what I mean. I think some of you have this idea, like a myth, that there are rules like there are levels to these bevels, right? There are rules in which things have to accelerate and happen. There are ways you climb up the ladder. And I think that probably comes back to like, you know, I, I think back to my corporate days when I worked my nine to five, like I started as a receptionist. And then once I got some more skills, I got a promotion to a administrative assistant. And then after I became administrative assistant, then I became career services coordinator. Then after that, like I, it was like all these incremental steps that I think in life and in regular jobs, that's just the norm. And what I'm starting to hear, and I found myself guilty of this too back in the day, and I just want to break this myth for you so that you no longer have to subscribe to this thought process. So here it is. Some of you are thinking, and you can be honest in the comments if you're like, yeah, that's me. You can let me know. Some of you think, okay, I'm new. I got to first do free work, okay? First I got to do for free. Then maybe... I'll do like some student films or community theater. Then maybe I'll get that first co-star, but I got to get the co-star that's like two lines first before I get the co-star that's like two scenes. Once I get the two-line co-star, then I can get that two-scene co-star. Once I get the two-scene co-star, then I can get the three-scene co-star. Once I get the three-scene co-star, I can get that guest star, that one-day guest star, but I got to make sure I do the one-day guest star first before I get to the a uh, recurring guest star, right? And then once I get to the recurring guest star many, 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 many times, then I could be up for some series regular roles, right? Is anybody relating to this? Is anybody hearing themselves in this scenario? Because what happens is you may not even know you're subscribing to that, that thought process, but this is how it shows up. This is how I know you are because y'all say, Let's see. I'm just trying to find me some paper. Audition come in. You be like, this audition came in. Ah, it's eight pages. Ah, I, have, I don't even have my first co-star yet. What, the, what they sending me eight pages for? 
<laughs> I don't even know how to approach eight pages. What am I supposed to do? And then, <laughs> you know, I joke because I love you all. <laughs> but that's what happens. And I'm like, why are you, A, why are you freaking out when you prayed for this, when you've been working for this, <laughs> when you've been coaching for this, and then it shows up, but because it doesn't show up in the way someone told you, it had to be incremental. So when you go from wishing to get a co-star, but instead you get a series regular appointment or a recurring co-star, recurring guest star, you freak out and all of a sudden have lost your process. Now, if you missed last night's video, again, I'm going live every day until the 24th of August. Last night, episode 169, I talked about documenting your process so that you rinse and repeat. So some of you, and I'm not gonna call names, but some of my clients who have freaked out by getting 10 pages or five pages is because you have to shift the mindset. You have to change that whole paradigm. There are no limits. The only limits are the ones that you put on yourself, period. There are no rules. So yes, you may have seen 10 of your friends who started out incrementally. They got that, they got 10 co-stars and they got some guest stars and they got a series regular, right? You may have seen that as an example, but that does not mean that has to be your example. Am I clear? So how exciting would it be to play the what if game? And I talk about this and listen, I have a brand new, I mean like hot off the press freebie. It's not even... I think on Instagram, if you click my bio, look for the Get Booked Playbook. I don't even have it written here on Facebook. It's that new. So the Get Booked Playbook is a workbook, and I took the time and made three videos where I literally walk you through, and it's free. I literally walk you through my processes for booking roles. And just so you know, it is all mindset. For those of you who want a sexy answer, like just click here and call this person and you'll be booked, damn, you can even wear the shirt. That's not what it is. That's not what my book is about. <laughs> can I just have a moment with this? Can we just have a moment? Can we have a moment of silence for this book? Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that this book got completed. Thank you, God, that the world will receive these, this book and these words and this encouragement. I am so excited for you. This is officially, I mean, it's really, it's available now. You can get it on Amazon like right now. The official release date is tomorrow. But if you go to Amazon, it is there. Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet. People want to know, Christine, People want magic pills, and unfortunately, I'm not that person. I'm not here to just take your coin and promise you something, some pie in the sky. I literally just tell you it starts up here first, which is why I spend so much time with it. I spend so much time with this. And everything in this book, everything in my Actors Daily Bread series, the reason why I'm doing these videos, the reason why I'm teaching in Atlanta on the 24th at Bronze Lens, is because when I was sitting in Los Angeles, my first go around, 2011, my OG members, y'all know this story, but I'm gonna say it again. I sat in my apartment, my room rather, that I was renting, had an agent that never called. I thought I was doing the right thing. I never got any feedback. I just would submit on Actors Access. I was on the hope and a prayer version of, my, of marketing and getting jobs, and that wasn't working. I just watched my savings dwindle away, long distance relationship. And I would sit there and watch my friends work. I would see them on TV and on movies. And I'm like, what are they doing that I'm not doing? How come they ain't helping me out? Can anybody relate to that? Can I get an amen in the comments? If you see, you got friends killing it, but they don't seem to be giving you no advice. I know I'm not the only one with some friends like that. And this don't mean my friends are bad people. but everybody doesn't operate from the same wavelength. And so I vowed, once I did learn, thank you, Dawn, I see you. Once I did get some clarity, I asked God what I'm supposed to do with it. Now, yeah, I'm coming up, but now what? So I show up here, I put hair on for y'all guys. Let's be clear, hair and lipstick. 
because it ain't mine to keep. And I pray, hey, Ernest, I pray that you pass this on to someone else. Hey, Neil, hey, Kenya, hey, Trafina, hey, TC, hey, Gwen, Melvin. It ain't mine. I am in assignment, to be clear. And I'm being obedient. So that may mean you need to share one of these videos one day. Don't just keep me to yourself. Ooh, Christine is good. I'm going to keep it to myself. No, share. Pass it on. Because it just comes back around. And so the non-sexy answer to booking more work and to having a career that fulfills you and fuels you is to literally you have to start here. And I'm going to be a broken record because I got to. So the Get Booked Playbook, Instagram, just click the link in my bio, you'll see it. Facebook, I didn't put it in the comments. Maybe somebody, Neil or Gwen, can you type getbookedplaybook.com for me so I can stay on task? It's totally free, even if you don't get the book. It's a companion to the book. So if you have the book, it's better. And I hope you'll just support me. I'll just hope you will support me. It's $20 on Amazon. And those of you who come to see me in Atlanta, I'll be so excited to sign your copy and take pictures with you. Um, but um, I'm not hiding anything is my point. This isn't a sales tactic. I'm just not hiding anything. So if you be like, how Christine get them credits? The book and Actors Daily Bread videos, I am not hiding a thing. Now what you do with it is on you. And I know, and the reason why I'm spending time on this is what you're praying for is waiting for you. The old Rumi quote, what you are seeking is seeking you. What you seek seeks you. So don't think the thing you are desiring, the thing you are seeking is so far away and untouchable. The solution already exists. The path is already laid. Now you have to step in your divine power. You have to step in your knowing and your self-worth that you are capable of it. You have to see, oh, don't come on. No, mm -mm, we're not doing that today. She's trying to come out. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. Too cute for tears today. The path is already laid. And the reason why I wrote this book is to really tap into your heart and to hit you in the gut of all the fears and all the crap that is holding you back. So when I talk today, I'm talking today about no limits if you're just joining us. And I ain't talking about Master P. I already said that. But some of you are putting limits on yourself, on your career, on your life, on what is, the, what is possible for you based solely on what you have seen with your with your physical eyes versus what is in your mind's eye versus what God has already planned for you. And if the word God bothers you, I'm sorry, but we talking about God. You gotta see it up here first. If you've been blessed with any kind of vision, know that the solution already exists. Know that the plan is already laid. God will not plant anything into your, into your mind or into your heart that cannot already be done. That isn't already done. So now you have to step into your God power, into the thing that created you, and know how dope you are, how amazing you are, how capable you are. Isn't this, this isn't just for your friends who you see on TV. You can do it too. So no, there are no limits except those that you place on yourself and those that you place on your career. The paradigm must shift starting today. You don't have to get 10 co-stars before you are allowed to do a recurring co-star or a guest star or a series regular. What has to change for you is your mind and the way you approach it. That's why yesterday we talked about process. Do you know what your process even is? Because there's no reason you should freak out by getting a 10-page script if you know how to break down a one-page script. We start with one page so you can get your, do I do my research? What's the tone of the show? Is it multicam, single cam? Is it a procedural? Okay, is it CW? That's different from being on OWN network. Okay, OWN is different than doing a USA show. Okay, all right, got that. I got the tone, I got the pace. This is the look, I, okay, this, I, these are the clothes I need to wear. My hair is gonna be like that. Th that's the process you do. So just because it says guard number two or doctor number one, you should know your character's name because you're doing your work as, as your character development. That's basic acting 101. And you know this energy is just love and passion. It's not anger. When you just get your process down, whether it's one line 
or 10 pages, you have a process that will in turn affect your confidence. So now when that comes in your inbox and it's 10 pages due tomorrow, the freak out should not be a freak out of I can't handle it because that's what's coming up. You think, oh, I'm, I'm not worthy of this yet. Now, those are not the words you're using. It's coming up and saying, I'm nervous. I'm freaking out. Oh, my God, it's due tomorrow. Really, it's about worthiness. It's about, am I good enough? What if they find out I'm a fraud, that I'm only capable of doing two lines? Ooh. Nobody wants to answer that question. Can we sit in that? The more prepped you are, thank you, Neil, getbookedplaybook.com, thank you. Please grab it. Absolutely, Tiff. On Instagram, we talk about imposter syndrome, absolutely. And that's hard to admit to anybody, especially yourself. It's easy to say, I'm an actor, I'm an actor. Yeah, I'm working this nine to five, I'm waiting these tables, I'm, bar I'm tending this bar, but I'm an actor. And then in the private moment, when that C-mail comes in, or that agent calls you and sends you that script and you're like, oh shoot, now I have to show and prove. Christine Horn got me doing all this marketing, people know my name, but now I got an appointment. What now? So let's get, let's stay ready so we don't have to get ready. So tonight, in this moment, can we, I wanna take 30 seconds. Y'all, I always do that, I be looking for my phone. Uh, I'm on Instagram. It's, it's right there. <laughs> it's like people who glasses on top of their head. Let's take 30 seconds. I don't have a timer because my phone is being used right now. We're all going to do it. And if you're watching a replay, please take the moment to do this. I want you to get clear on what you desire to happen next in your career. And we're not going to be blanket thoughts and say, I want to be a working actor. That don't mean nothing. What does that even mean? the very next thing that you desire. And don't, do not play small and think you have to make the logical next step be your desire. And I would love to see something in the comments. For me, I am looking for, of course, we all have ultimate, yeah. I'm looking for, I am manifesting a recurring guest star role heavily recurring guest star role that gives, still gives me the flexibility to do other shows with a character that is so juicy and that it scares the crap out of me. But that moves not only my soul, but the people who will watch it. It's already done. It's already done. Anybody open to share what's next for them? What are you manifesting next? I'll wait, I'll look for Instagram. I'll wait for Facebook. We're taking 30 seconds to tap in, to be intentional. Tiff says an acting agent in Albuquerque, okay? Come on Facebook. I know Facebook has a delay. There's, not, there's more people live on Instagram right now, which is weird. Cause it's like almost 930. That's weird. I don't have a larger view, viewing thing right here. Come on Instagram. Uh, I got, I will be in Black Panther too. Doing what? You gotta be more specific. Are you gonna be a background extra? Background actor, or are you gonna have a speaking role? Intention is powerful. Sheena Faust, one of my Inner Circle members, she would like to manifest your first co-star role. Awesome. Now I want you to go deeper with that. What network, what kind of role, what will she embody? What kind of vibe will that character have? This is the fun stuff. This is, you know, our teachers used to tell us, stop daydreaming, focus, do your work, do your homework. 
I am giving you permission at this grown age you are to start daydreaming again. Allow your mind to fly away into the possibility that is for you. Allow that. We all, we got bills, we got responsibilities, relationship drama, kids, dogs, cats, traffic, rent, mortgage. Like you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself. I don't care if it's why you sitting on the toilet, why you taking a shower to just be like, what do I want? What feels good to me? I don't got to know the how, God. I just... What do I desire to manifest? And if you don't think you have the power to manifest, I want you to look around the room you're in right now. Everything around you, you have brought into your life, whether you believe it or not. Every friend you have, every experience, good or bad. Brandon says, I am manifesting my first co-star on a Ryan Murphy project, absolutely. I love that. I'm going to use this as an example. So we talk about manifestation and we talk, Arisha says she's um, manifesting an inspirational recurring co-star role on a major show on a major network. I love it. I love that you added inspirational because she could be like, I just want a recurring role. And then she get hood rat number seven who on every episode. And she'd be like, next thing you know, you hood rat number seven. Ain't you hood rat number seven? Not that there's anything wrong with hood rats. I'm just saying. Being specific and intentional. So with that, we, we declare what it is we want to manifest, what we're bringing into our life. That's why I call myself a booking magnet. Each and every one of you, we are magnets. You're only watching this live stream because we are, we are gravitating toward each other. Something about me you like, something about you I like. We're talking and we're feeling each other. We are connected. We are magnetized. It is law. Period. Y'all laughing about the hood rat. <laughs> Rich is like, I don't be hood rat number seven. So for instance, Brandon, shout out to Brandon. He says he's manifesting his first co-star on a Ryan Murphy project. That is great. So he's done that mind work, right? So here's where the fall down starts to happen. If, if you only stay in the daydream and the daydream doesn't match the action. So the daydream is important because they, I'm saying daydream, but we can also say vision right? We have to see it in our mind's eye. Brandon, see yourself. What show will it be on? Be specific. You don't have to tell us here on the, on the, on the gram, but in your mind, be specific. What show? What kind of character? What's the vibe? What, is, what does he look like, right? And then now what? So the universe is doing its thing. God is doing this thing, but then what do you do? He stays ready. He targets the casting offices. He targets Bright Daniels casting in LA. He targets UDK in LA because they cast all of Ryan Murphy's stuff, right? He's gonna then be strategic so that his strategy matches his vision and actually something can happen. And that's what he's doing. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff happening in the cosmos, all in behind the scenes that he's not even a part of, but he it will show up to do his part to make the vision come to life. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. This is so good. I'm on, a, I'm on a whole sidebar. <laughs> if you got to hear late, oh my gosh, we're just talking about, we done moved to manifestation. But this, it goes in line because today's topic was about no limits. So please declare, can, let's get in the comments, hashtag no limits. Let me just see hashtag no limits in the comments. If today you will stop putting limits on your career, on your possibility, on your worth, just all of it. You don't need an example. You are the example. Period. Hashtag no limits. TC Rose, she's gonna be the first African American female police officer on um she wants to do a co-star on the Chicago PD. Yes, come on. Hashtag thank you to Darius uh, Hall. No limits. Hashtag no limits in the comments. Today, let this be the last day. Thank you, Dawn. No limits. Just because the example has been set by others does not mean that's your example. There have been roles that I have booked that I know I have been up. I've been in the waiting room and I've seen women on, I've been watching on TV for years and I'm like, not starstruck, but like, yo, we in the same room, winning. <laughs> so even when I don't book it, I'm like, I'm killing the game because I'm sitting in this room with you. Oh, I'm doing something right. Hashtag no limits. And then I booked said gig and I'd be like, 
so and so is in that room. This is your time. Your time for waiting is over. Now is the time. So now is the time we take all the limits that our parents have put on us, our significant others have put on us, our actor friends have put on us. If what people say to me is not in alignment with what I believe, I don't receive it. I only have time for positive reinforcement. That's why it's essential to have accountability partners and people who are in this game with you because if you ain't in it, you can't speak to me about this. Even my mother, she's so supportive, but it breaks her heart every time I have an audition or a callback and I don't book it. She's like, oh, oh. I'm like, it's okay, mom. This is part of it. Right? God, I'm so grateful. Yes, hashtag no limits, no limits, no limits. Hey, Kushad, I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, no limits. Listen, tomorrow, playing small, the, the Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet is officially available, but we, you can get it right now. It's on Amazon. <laughs> Shout out to Sheena Foss, who has a copy. Shout out to Sabrina, who has a copy. Um, I'm really proud of this book. Um, and again, if this is resonating with you, I am teaching all day, hands-on, really taking people under my wing Saturday, August 24th in Atlanta, Georgia. Take a bus, take a plane, take a car, rent a room, get an Airbnb and come hang with me. The details are in my links. Um, we have a discount until August 1st, but you can still register. I would love to see you there. If you missed any part of tonight, just watch the replay. And listen, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. If you're listening to the podcast, subscribe. Just subscribe, like, and guys, promise to share this with at least one friend. If this blessed you tonight in any way, one friend, one actor friend, just one. Just keep, this is the law of circulation. Just keep it flowing. Keep it flowing, keep it flowing. It is an honor to be on your journey. Though I haven't met and touched each and every one of you, I feel you, I feel your energy. I really do. I love when your names pop up and I get to know them, even though we haven't met. Because when we do meet, it is just beautiful and just it is magnets coming together. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful to do this work. I'm grateful to serve you. I'm grateful to serve. I'm just so blessed, as are you. And we, as creatives and as actors, are so blessed. We live a life that people only dream of. Even if you're still working two, three jobs, the fact that you get to step into the shoes, into the world of another character, bring it to life, move people, bring people to tears, to laughter, is a gift. And I know it can be drowned by the show business and the marketing and the rejection, but it's a gift that no one can take away. I don't care how many no's I get. I can sit up here and get my notebook and write something for me to do. I released two albums on iTunes, by the way. Produced, wrote, paid for myself. I don't need a record deal to put music out. If I want to sing, I'm going to sing. So acting should be no different for any of you. Take your power back. No one gets to tell you when you get to act. We live in an age of YouTube and Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Create your own show. Each of these are networks. This is your CBS, your NBC, your, your you know, TBS, your USA. Don't forget the power that's in this medium. It's how we are connected right now. I created a yes for myself two, about two years ago by creating Actors Daily Bread. And I'm just like, okay, look where we are now. All right, I'm gonna go because y'all trying to make me cry. I mean, doing that today, okay? Thank you for hanging with me. <laughs> Get the book. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's my husband's birthday as well, in addition to my book coming out. So I'm taking the whole day off, but I will go live at some point just because I promised that I would. Have a great night. Bye. I'm going to go uh, leave Facebook first. Bye.